Good morning and welcome to a, a vlog. It's Sunday. Sunday. Uh, Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. We are, I need to go grocery shopping, but. Fun. Yeah, but our public says recently started curbside pickup. Yeah. So I'm doing that instead because that's easier. Well, it'll just give us some more time because we need to, we're going to have a live show today. We haven't oh, yeah. done that in a long that's time. Happening. Yeah, so we're going to do that. Hopefully, if you're seeing this, hopefully you were there and you got to hang out and chat. We're going to chat about our Disney stay yeah. and answer any questions that anybody had. Yeah, so today's going to be fun. Maybe we'll get in the pool at the end of the day. Well, the Ooh. weather, I would love to get in the pool. The weather has been kind of weird. So hopefully we can make that happen. But because we never put the sails back up after the hurricane, we were supposed to get a hurricane a few weeks ago. Yeah. And we never really got any um, storm weather from that. But we took the sails down above our pool, which are like a, a shade thing. Mm -hmm. We never put them back up. But the pool has been really hot. It was like 90, 90. degrees. Yeah, it was like 90 degrees. So uh, it's like a hot tub, big hot Ooh, tub. Giant hot tub. <laughs> yeah. So it'll be a good day. Because today is going to be a good day. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Jackson's asleep right now. He's sleeping for his first nap of the day. He has been so like, I don't know, he's been like a little sad baby because yeah. I think his teeth, I think his teeth are really hurting him. So we have been trying, you guys left some, some suggestions of like how we could sort of alleviate his teeth pain. We've been doing Tylenol when he's like really irritated and we did some like cold washcloths for him to, to kind of chew on. Yeah. Um, we're gonna see if we can't get one of those like mesh I forget what you guys called it. It's like a mesh teether. Yeah. We're going to put, put like, like cold fruit in it. Cold fruit or frozen milk or something like that in yeah, there. Yeah. So we're going to do that. But we, I just hope something works because his little teeth, I think, are really hurting him. Yeah. So. He'll just like get real sad out of nowhere. Yeah. And we're like, what's going on? And I think it's his teeth. I think so. So that's what's been happening. Tim's going to go get ready for the day. I'm going to go eat some breakfast. Maybe I'll take you guys along on that adventure. Ooh. Yeah. A breakfast adventure. <laughs> so here is my breakfast. I'm so excited. It looks delicious. I'm having English muffins, oatmeal with blackberries, granola, and brown sugar. And then I wanted to show you something about my coffee. So <laughs> I've never had like almond milk creamer. I was like, oh, let's try a creamer. I usually just use regular almond milk and add it to my coffee. So we bought this and it is so thick. I thought there was something wrong with it. It's, it's not expired. This is just what it looks like. Do you see how thick that is? Like what? That's how it's supposed to be. Like that's, that's, that's just how it is. But isn't that weird? I don't know, maybe I just think it's weird because I've never used it before, but I was really kind of shocked at how thick it was and it doesn't really do much. I thought my coffee would be literally so like light in color, but it didn't really do a whole lot. So weird stuff. It tastes okay, but definitely weird. So I'm having my breakfast and I just have to say, I eat the same thing every single day, if I can, unless like when we were out at the tree houses, I couldn't have this breakfast because I didn't bring all this stuff with us. We just had what we could make. Tim made those delicious um, Egg McMuffin type sandwiches. They were so good. But do you have the same thing every day? Like I remember a while back, and if you've watched the videos for a while, you might remember this too, but I would make Tim the same breakfast every day. I would make him these like protein waffles and he really liked them and he ate them every single day. And I always thought, how can you eat the same thing every single day? That just seems like it would get old really quick. But now I eat the same thing every day. I eat this oatmeal and English muffin every day. And when I don't eat it, I feel like my day is off. Like it's almost like a, a routine. It is, it's like a routine for me. But do you have anything like that? Like a, like a, um, a food routine? I don't know, because I used to think, like I said, I used to think it was so weird that Tim could eat the same thing every day and never get sick of it. And when I used to make his um, lunch for work, he would have the same sandwich every day, the same 28 almonds every day. <laughs> um, I always thought it was so weird. And now here I am eating the same breakfast every single day and I'm loving it. So do any of you have that? Also, this is kind of a way for me to see if any of you are having a delicious breakfast that I should try, you know? Maybe if I'm gonna try something new, I should try something that you guys love. I don't know, it's just, just thinking out loud here. So that's what's happening right now. And then I wanted to show you Jackson because he looks really cute. So here's Jackson, he's sleeping. This is his first nap of the day. And he is so funny because now he's sleeping with his little butt up in the air. I don't know if you can tell, but he has his little butt raised up a little bit in the air and it's adorable. And he should hopefully sleep for maybe like another 30 minutes, I'm hoping. And then we'll have some fun baby playtime and maybe we'll take a walk. I don't know, the day is our oyster. 
Is that, is that the thing? The day is, we can do whatever we want today. <laughs> I didn't even realize it, but it started raining. I know it's focusing on this window, but you can kind of see it in the pool, but it's raining out there. What the heck? I guess I shouldn't be too surprised because like Tim says, what happens every day in Florida? It rains. But I just didn't think it was gonna rain this early. Usually it rains later in the day, so that's kind of weird. But yeah, so, rainy day. And then I was sitting here having my coffee and I'm drinking out of my Magic Kingdom mug. And I was thinking about this. So it has the Cinderella castle here on the side with the old colors. Do you think they're gonna make a new one with the new colors, the new pink and the blue turrets? Cause I kind of feel like that would be a beautiful cup and I would buy it, but I don't know if they make these anymore. So these are called the You Are Here mugs from Starbucks. And we have a pretty nice size collection of these. That's one thing that we collected was mugs until we ran out of space in our cabinet. So now we don't collect mugs anymore, but unless they're really, really special and then we'll buy one. But now they have a new series called Been There. So these are You Are Here and they have a new one called Been There. And they are like a different animation or uh, drawing style. And I think I like these better personally, but I wonder if they're gonna make a new version with the new colors. That'd be awesome. I would buy that. That would be a special enough mug that I would buy that. Okay, I feel good. I'm all refreshed. Uh, a little bit of like too personal information, but like I have a pimple in the part of my hair. Oh no. Very painful. Another thing that we did was... <laughs> and that was TMI with TIM. Yeah. <laughs> and then another thing that we did was we transplanted the tomato plants. Yeah, we talked about doing that a while ago. You guys were like, you need to move those into a bigger pot. They need to be moved. And we're like, we're gonna do it. We finally did it. Yeah, we'll put that footage in right now. I think it's officially time for us to transfer the tomatoes. Well, I think it was officially time <laughs> a while ago. Look at how dead these things are. They're not dead. You know, this, this mint is dead. No, look, this is live mint right here. Okay. There's just sections of it that are a little bit dead. It's pretty dead. The mint has actually taken over different like sections of the arrow garden, so it's like coming out of other holes. Oh no. Do you see that? Yeah. That mint is uh, pretty aggressive. Yeah, it is. So. Oh, and some of you said that the tomato plants wouldn't fruit again after they fruited the first time. But look, we've got some tomatoes there. Let's see if we can even do this. I bet you these roots are pretty like darn well established. I wonder if I can get it out without destroying the actual plant itself. Whoa. Oh no, I think I ripped off a lot of its roots. Did you? Wow, those are pretty like hardcore. Yeah, we'll see if it actually like survives this. So I'm wondering like how much of the root is still inside of there. Well, let's see, can you look in the hole? Well, I mean, um, I can still see. I mean, kind of a lot. Yeah. Doesn't that, doesn't that look a lot? Yeah. So now here's the question. Do you think this is gonna die? I mean, I think it might. Hmm. We can always plant more tomato things. Yeah. Let's dig a little hole. How deep of a hole? I mean, it has to be pretty deep, right? Okay. <laughs> I don't think these are gonna live. Well, it's worth a try, you know? Yeah. All right, let's see if we can get this other one out. This other one's a little bit smaller. Wow. I think we're gonna have to clean out the inside of the arrow garden. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm just trying to get a few more roots than I got with this other one. Whoa. Okay. Holy cow. That's more roots. Yeah. So that's good. Wow. I think some of it are these mint roots. Look at this. Yeah, I think you're right. Hi, buddy. Jackson, did you wanna come see the tomatoes too? Let's do it. Let's go on a field trip. We're going on a field trip. I got my little buddy. He's watching his daddy. Say, Dad, I'm watching you. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> So you can really only fit those two plants in there, right? Yeah. Wow, yes. let's see. Pretty intense, right? Yeah. This one I feel like might live it compared looks, to this other one. Yeah, those roots look a lot better. Now I just gotta take it outside and water it. I mean, I feel pretty good about it. Yeah, me too. I'm glad we got these big pots. Yeah. So now we're gonna start over, start fresh with the arrow garden. 
I think I need to put a little bit more dirt in this. Okay. And then put water in it, put it outside. Yeah. But I feel like for, for my efforts. You deserve one tomato. Should I eat this one? Yeah. This one looks, look at this perfect tomato. Oh yeah, look at that. That is a perfect tomato. You want a Jackson? tomato? Jackson? Yeah. A baba. A baba? Are you saying peace? Oh yeah, he learned how to do the number two. Do you see his hands? Jackson, are you waving? Say hi. hi. Thank you for waving. You did so good. Number two. You did it. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest. Well, yeah, that, 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 I think that turned out pretty good. Another thing that I did that I didn't film was I took, so when we were first starting to grow the tomatoes, I had them in multiple pods and I took a clipping from one and just stuck it in some dirt. Oh yeah. And it started growing. Yeah, we showed you and it was like flowering and yeah. that was doing pretty good. And then uh, I think it outgrew its pot. So it was kind of like stagnant for a little bit. So I took it out of the pot and I transplanted it into the big pot with the other two. And I think it will really start to thrive now because after seeing it, it definitely took over that little pot. Like there were roots everywhere. Also, while I was getting ready, it rained. It was an early rain. So look at those blue skies, not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> There's the tomatoes. This is the one that I transplanted from the little pot. I think it'll do pretty good. These other ones are looking kind of rough right now, but hopefully they will do better. Because they've got all these like, they're not brown, they're like purple. I don't know what that's from. Did you show them that you also planted your sweet potato? I don't have a lot of dirt in there. He was growing in our pantry and he's like, I'm gonna plant it. Yeah. I hope it grows, that'd be awesome. It would be neat. I think I do need to like put more dirt in there, but this yeah. is just all the dirt that we had, so. And did you show them the snake skin? No, not yet. It got rained know. on. It got rained on. So this was a snake skin that was outside and we found it and it's like a full out snake skin. It's hard to see because it got wet, but this is the head. Yeah, you can actually see there's the eyeballs oh, the in there. Oh, eyes. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that the eyes were on there. Yeah. Their eyes shed? Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so you can actually see here's the tail and we'll attach, like not attach it, but put it back here where it would normally go. Pretty darn long snake. I hope it dries out and we can actually show you the head part because the head, it had like the whole... The mouth and everything. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. Eh, nature. I don't know, I thought it was weird. Not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> I think that's my favorite thing to say now. So something that I just ordered from Amazon that I wanted to try was this thing called the Air Whirl. And basically it's like a cup, right? You put ice in it and then it has a fan that goes on the top and the fan just screws on the top. And all that it does is it takes outside air and blows it through the cold ice in the cup and then it comes out this. So, and it also came with this like little extension hose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it so that it's in the cup holder of the stroller. We're getting ready to go outside with Jackson. See, we're gonna go on a walk. Are you waving? He's giving the peace sign. I know, he just learned how to make the number two with his hand. Look at his hand. Can you see? Saying, I made a number two. No, that doesn't sound good. That could mean something totally different. <laughs> and so I'll take this and I can put the, the cup part in here and then it's got this hose. Oh, sorry, buddy. No, that I can, like, what was that? That I can route inside of his stroller here and like mm. ducked it down to him. He's like, what the heck, dad? Then he'll have like some nice cool air blowing on him. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, what's happening? Yeah. So the only problem that I found so far is that when you put the hose on, it doesn't come out as hard, but it is. It's just like cold, icy air coming out. It's not like an air conditioner, but it is colder than the air outside. How does it feel? How does it feel? But it feels so nice. Well, let's go outside and test it out, huh? Yeah. Let's do All it. right, so we're gonna go on a little walk and maybe we'll put some little snackies in your tray. What do you think? <laughs> does, that mean, does, that, does that mean that you like it? <laughs> There's a little air conditioner thing in the cup holder. It has a uh, like a USB phone charger connected to it. And that actually made the fan go a little bit faster. Uh, it has just normal AA batteries in it. And then when you plug this in, it runs off this instead of the batteries. But it doesn't, it's not rechargeable, which I thought was very strange. But it looks like it's doing pretty good. It's blowing on the back of his neck. He seems comfortable in there. I don't know. He also has a fan in the front too, keeping him nice and cool. So here's the thing. So we just got back from our walk with this air whirl on Jackson. And I think it's good in theory, and I think it did help with Jackson, but there was like, 
he also had a fan and was in the shade. So I think there's like a combination that you have to do. Like this does, it, it does okay. It was cool, but also like the fan that we had on Jackson did just about the same amount of cooling as this did. So I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it. I think there could be a better concept where you basically you take an air conditioner, right? Mm -hmm. There's a concept of an air conditioner. And instead of doing Freon and everything, you just do like a frozen grid that a fan blows through. How would you keep it frozen? It doesn't, it melts. Okay. But you just like, you have like, that's the amount of time you have with the air conditioner is the <laughs> amount of time that the frozen grid lasts. Okay. And how much was that thing? 40 bucks. 40 bucks? Yeah. I feel to like be it, fair, it really wasn't worth 40 bucks. It started out at 119 and there were a bunch of knockoffs that came out so they had to drop their price. 40 bucks, yeah, I don't know if it was really worth 40 bucks. I think you're better off just having a fan. I'm glad that we tried it though because he, I will say that he did not get sweaty. Yeah. Like I, you got super sweaty. I got super sweaty. Jackson was totally fine. He had the fan and the air whirl and the shade. Yeah. So that's what I said. I feel like a combination of everything. I think it'll be good to have when we go back to the parks. Yeah. Just to have that extra security of like, because it gets really hot. Yeah. You know? It, was, it says that it's 90 out right now, but it felt like felt way like, hotter yeah. than 90. Wait. Let's see what the feels like temperature is. Feels like 100 out. <laughs> Whoa, Baba. 100. 100? I'm going to open this up until you guys can see. We were outside. It has an auto off timer for 30 minutes, so I know that it was running for 30 minutes because it turned off. I'm going to show you how melted the ice is now. I would say about half of the ice melted. Like it was filled up to about like here. Okay. So. Well, it melted a lot. Yeah. Because it was just pumping in 90 degree air into the ice. 100 so, degree air. 100 degree air. Wow. Ding ding. So you'd but have now to. Now you have a refreshing like drink. But you'd have to fill it up like every 30 minutes if you took it to Disney. Yeah. That'd be tough. It would be. Jackson, you listening to your jams? Oh no. I wish I, wish I could go back <laughs> and let you. Can I go back? Yeah. <laughs> okay, listen to this one. Did you find it? Time to break the fast. Or are they rapping? Yeah, she has like a rap breakdown. It reminds me of the um, Flight of the Concords. Right? Oh. Wait, wait, oh. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Oh, you dropped it. Hello, I want to talk to Jackson. Hello. Hello? He doesn't understand the phone yet. He, he wants to eat it. Hi. Say, hello, this is Oogie Boogie and I want to talk to Jackson. Hello. Ready for a fun fact? Hello. Yeah. You so, eat the phone? He's gonna eat the phone. No, kids these days don't know about this phone, right? Right. Like they're used to cell phones. Yeah, yeah. And they don't know what a rotary dial is. Uh, well, that's, yeah. So, if I were to ask you, yeah. make a hand gesture as pretending that you're on the phone and use your, use, your, use your hand as the phone, what would you do? Like? Yeah, like that. Okay. You know what kids these days do? What? They do this. This? Yep. Okay. Because of the cell phone. Like, cell phones now are not like phones used to be. So they're used, they don't, they don't have this. Right. They don't have the, the mouthpiece that comes around. It's just like a, a, a brick. That's really weird. Yeah. That's so weird. Why right? wouldn't you do this though? Because you don't, you don't recognize that. Huh. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense to you. Oh no, he's gonna eat his boogie wipe. It doesn't make sense to you that that is the, the shape of a phone. Huh. Like this is the shape of, of this phone because it's like oh, a banana <laughs> phone. Do, 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 do. Right. Um, but for kids, phones are this shape. That's so strange. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Jackson doesn't know what a phone is yet. Either. He just wants to eat it. He wants to eat everything. He wants to eat our actual <laughs> phones too. He does. So, oh, another thing, that was a fun fact, but another thing that we didn't show you yesterday, so when we came home, we were kind of showing you his new playpen area, and when we first put him in here, he, we put him over here to this little, like, activity, activity area, yeah, and he was afraid of this. Yeah, he was very scared. I'm gonna put in the footage, I'm gonna put in the footage right now to show you, but he overcame his fear, and it was actually really cool to see him go from being afraid of this to now playing with it. Yeah. It was really like a neat progression. I don't know why he was afraid of it though. I don't know. But I'll put that, I'll put that in right or now. Are you gonna tell us why you were afraid of it? Oh. Why were you afraid of it, Jackson? He's like, not anymore. He's like, I didn't know what it was. Right. 
but I'll put that footage in right now. He can play with these gears. He can play with this abacus. He can learn how to do arithmetic. <laughs> and then he can like dial. There's a little phone handle that I haven't put in here yet. Look. What happened? What's going on, buddy? Jackson? You hey, okay? Because Daddy was playing with your toys? Did that make you mad? Why were you so upset? Oh, no. I feel like he's not going to be good at sharing. Oh, no, buddy. Are you bad at sharing? Is it, was it something about the noise? Or this? Is it because I said the word arithmetic? You know, or are you scared of it? It's okay. You were playing with it earlier. Oh no. Oh no, he's scared of it. Oh. Come play with it here with me, Jackson. You're okay. So as it turns out, Jackson is afraid of this dial. So we're gonna have to work on that with him. I don't know what it is about the dial that he's afraid of. I think it's the noise. Is it? I don't know. I wonder if I'd do it fast like that, if he wouldn't be afraid anymore. Also, know. there's a whiteboard on the back of the door so he can do some drawing. I'm no, I don't know, when do we give him markers? I don't know. <laughs> Good times in parenting. So, Jackson has an oogie boogie that he is absolutely 100% not scared of. So Jackson's best friend is Oogie Boogie. An actual villain from <laughs> the Disney universe. He loves like, this scary thing. Thing. But that's, yeah, that's an actual thing. That's a thing that people are actually scared of. Not people, but like, you know, it's like a bad guy. But this is what he's afraid of. He's afraid of that dial right there. It's so weird to... No, 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 no. Oh, no it's we okay. didn't touch it. We didn't, okay. touch it. we didn't touch it. We didn't touch it. I just boogie. pointed at it. I just boogie. pointed at it. Boogie boogie. Do, 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 do. <gasps> See, yeah, we love Oogie Boogie. It was Mr. Him. Oogie Boogie. Do any of you have kids that are scared of something that's like weird? Like benign like that? Like a yeah, dial? That's, I don't know why he's afraid of it. it. Maybe it is the noise. I don't he know. He just looked over at it. Just like... I think we're going to have to actually spin this around and turn it backwards. Well, and that's the question is, so do we spin it around or do we get him used to it and get like let him know that it's not a scary thing? Well, I don't want him to be afraid to come in here. I don't think he's afraid to come in here. I mean... He's not like, like running away from it. No, he can't run yet. He doesn't know how. He knows how to crawl. <laughs> See, but I love Oogie Bugs. I love See, Oogie look, Bugs. you're not even facing it. You don't even look at this. Here's your blue circle. Your absolute second favorite thing behind Oogie Boogie. Yeah. And your piano. Your three favorite things right here. Cool. So now we're not unhappy anymore. We're all good. I don't know, is he looking at it? Don't look at it. <laughs> oh, no. I think we're working through our fear. He got closer and he's touching it. <gasps> look at that. What we worked think? through it. Do it on your own. You ready? See, it's not now scary. Do it on your own. It's not scary. You reach up there and touch it. Look at you! We worked through our fear. Oh my goodness, what a big boy. That's a brave buddy. You were so brave. And the only thing we had to do was have Boogie Boogie cheering you on. Boogie Boogie loves that toy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you did so good, we're very proud of you. Nice yeah, we're buddy. very yeah. proud of you. Good job. Yeah. Good job. You give Dad a big hug. Whoa, look, he's on those gears too. Wow. I'm grabbing my beard hair. Oh, no. You did it. Nice work, buddy. Look at you. And now you're not scared of it. No, yeah, he like loves everything over here now. Right, buddy? Show everybody that you're good at using your gears and Hitting the phone into that thing. We're on our way to the grocery store. We did some curbside pickup and we're gonna have a little family adventure to go pick them up at the curb. Oh no, we got a dirty garage. Oh no, yeah, sorry, we never cleaned our garage out. All right, we got our groceries. 
We did it. This buddy we made is it home. Ready to fall asleep right now. Is it nap time, little bud? All right, that buddy fell right asleep, <laughs> and now we uh, put stuff away. Yeah, we didn't. We put some of it away already, but this is what we got. We got a lot of stuff for Jackson's to prep his baby food. Oh yeah. So we got a lot of veggies, a lot of like fresh fruits, his favorite mangoes. Oh yeah. And we got him some sunscreen and this thing. We're gonna freeze some strawberries and put them in there. Yeah, so hopefully that'll help with his teething. Yeah. I don't know, some of you have left this in the comments, so we're like, yeah, we'll try it. Uh, I also got these two baby sunscreens as well. We're gonna try them out. I just feel like every time we go grocery shopping, I'm so hungry. Oh, I know. So I just wanna eat everything now. What the heck? Yeah. Even this? No. <laughs> chicken, sweet potato and chicken. So uh, I, we used up all of our backups, so I made sure to buy some more backups. And then we also do like, the prunes. He eats prunes or pears every morning for breakfast. Well, we've been doing kind of like a mixture of our baby food that we make and then the stuff from Beech, Beech Nut, right? Beech Nut, yeah. Because it's literally just what it is. So if it's pears, it's just pears. There's no yeah, like, like even, chemicals or... Even the mixed ones here, like this is pineapple, pear, and avocado. And then if you look at the ingredients, it's pineapple, pear, and avocado. So I feel comfortable with giving him that brand specifically because yeah. it's it's just like us making it yeah. and it's a little bit easier than having to make everything right but and when we go on like trips and stuff that was so easy to bring oh yeah rather than bringing like all of our frozen stuff so i don't know i like that brand a lot oh we got these as well oh yeah some like organic puffs some some cheetos for him mm -hmm. and i specifically went with this one because there's no sugar in it Baby Cheetos. Yeah, and also with this didn't have any sugar in it as well. But we are going to say like steam up the green beans and just give him a green bean. Because now it's time for him to have like finger foods. Yeah. So I'm excited to maybe we'll do some of that. I don't know if we'll do it in tonight's video. Yeah, we'd have to. Because I need to cook everything up, but yeah. we'll do it soon. Yeah, and also he does so well with his little like melts. And so he's like getting the chewing thing down. Yeah, he's been really good about it. So. I don't know if we showed you his, him with the melts, did we? I think so. Did we? Okay, yeah. He's really cute because he goes like a cow. <laughs> so we're doing a live show right now and Jackson's in here entertaining. <laughs> if you are in the live show, say hello. What do you, what do you see, buddy? Bud, are you trying to look at the camera? <laughs> You're Whoa, so silly. look at it moving real fast. Very silly, buddy. Do you see the other camera up there? What do you see? So thank you so much for coming to the live show. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Do you want to see yourself? There you are. There's that buddy. Who's that baby? Say hi. Are you going to wave to him? Wave to that baby. <laughs> so for dinner tonight, we're having hamburgers and I remembered to put the cheese on enough time to melt it. We did it. So here's our dinner. Nice salad here. And then this burger. Look at this thing. Yeah. That's some high quality burger action right there. It looks so good. Yes. Jackson wants some too, right? Yeah. That's a good burger. Yeah. Yeah, I am still having a hard time like getting the timing right. So I pulled it off at medium rare and then it cooked up a little bit too. I would say this is just a little bit past medium. Mm, it like there's good. no pink in it. Oh, it's, it's delicious. I didn't want any pink in mine, so I feel like it'll be good for me. <laughs> I wanted pink in mine, but it's good. Oh no. Jackson, you want some of your snackies? Yeah. Oh, see how he's doing the number two? How many snackies do you want? Two? So we were giving him some of these fruit and veggie melts, and he was really liking them. You want to have some more? Did you get one? So, yep. <laughs> so close. Did you get it? There you go. One at a time. One at a time. He's fine. <laughs> also, like his pincer is getting real good. <laughs> so funny that he sticks his whole hand in his mouth, though. I know. Oh, that buddy. So cute. Well, I'm glad you like the burger. They're real good. So when I was younger, I used to be scared to cook burgers because I always like I would always overcook them. And I feel like I've gotten better. Oh no, you made me yawn. Why? I don't know. Um, you know, they were so good. And you yawned? Yeah, that, that's how good they were. <laughs> Here's another interesting thing is, I didn't see you yawn. Well, I was trying to hide but it. But you said it, and now I feel like I have to yawn. Just saying the word? Just saying that you yawned. I uh, think that's a compassion thing, right? 
it's empathy. A, yeah, that because we were asking why when we yawned, why Jackson didn't yawn, but when he yawns, we yawn. And I guess that's something that they get around the 18 month mark is what somebody said, I think. That's, so that's interesting. Yeah. So what did you think of the burger? Oh, so good. Yeah. Yeah, delicious. Delicious. I added a little Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I never say it. I never say it right. Um, and then I added some garlic seasoning and some seasoning salt I think, and some pepper. I think Worcestershire sauce is like the key to a good burger. Yeah, I looked up a steakhouse burger recipe. Delicious. Can you hear? He just he like he started banging his toys together. He loves it. It's he like his, his things. favorite thing to do. Going back to my burger thing. When I was younger, I was scared to cook burgers, mm -hmm. but now I'm not, and it, it I. I give all the credit to a meat thermometer. Are you yawning again? <laughs> Sorry. Just that sentence makes you yawn. I don't know why. Wow. A meat thermometer? A meat thermometer. Nice. I did never use a meat thermometer before, but I've been using it with everything now. Yeah. And I feel like it really helps out. Good. Used it with the bratwurst at the tree houses. You brought it with us? Yeah. Oh. I wanted to make sure that we weren't eating undercooked bratwurst. That's oh, the yeah. worst. Good call. That yeah. makes you sick. Yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah. The meat thermometer. If you're ever wondering what to get me for a birthday or Christmas, mm -hmm. meat thermometer. How many do you need? Well, I need uh, one. I want one of those Bluetooth, not Bluetooth, but like one that, that has like a long cord so I can stick it in the grill and then close the grill. Oh, so you can always know what the temperature is. Yeah. Okay. And like maybe I could go inside. And I'm like, oh, I know that the steak's cooking at 100 degrees. Okay. Well, now I know. In case anybody's wondering how to drop the perfect hint. <laughs> you just say it? That was it. Just say what you want. <laughs> and then the person knows what to buy you for your birthday. Why don't you just tell me what movie you want <laughs> to see? Why don't you just tell me? So we have this bad habit of like finishing dinner and then like sitting down to watch TV and then falling asleep. Not finishing the video. Yeah. I think that's just our time that we get to spend together because Jackson's asleep. So we get to kind of just like hang out just the two of us and then we forget to vlog. Yeah. So we didn't, I, did we tell them about dinner? I can't remember. I think we said how delicious it was. The burgers were great. If we didn't tell you, I think we did tell you, but if we didn't, the burgers were great. Yeah. So good. Uh, and everything else was good too. It was nice to transplant the tomatoes, mm -hmm. see Jackson like overcome his fears with his yeah. plate pen. I was really, really happy to see him be like such a brave boy. Yeah. So. And all in all, it was a really good day. Yeah. So with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So I recently received an email from Jordan and they wanted to give us a little bit more information about a storm that recently happened in Iowa. And they're calling it a derecho, which is a group of severe thunderstorms that spans over 250 miles and this particular storm spanned over 600 miles. It was not something that we were aware of. Like it wasn't something that was um, talked a lot about like on the news here. Right. And so I didn't even know that this happened, but we were reading about it and it was, they're calling it an inland hurricane. We were watching some videos and it was really like the kinds of winds and severe weather that we get here when we have a hurricane. So it was yeah. really strange to see them have this kind of weather. They said that they, it was uh, straight line winds of between 90 and 115 miles per hour. And they were comparing it to an F5 tornado or a category three hurricane. And there was zero, like zero forecasting of it. Nobody knew it was coming. It just happened. Yeah. So just imagine having a storm like this happen and you're, you're not prepared at all. Yeah. Some of the videos that we saw, even like when we have a, a hurricane, there's nobody out on the roads during the hurricane, mm -hmm. but the videos that we saw, there was just, it was like people were driving home from work and this storm hit. So Jackson wanted to come and be a part of the outro, but because the storm kind of like came out of nowhere, there wasn't time to prepare to have supplies like ready for the, um, like the aftermath of the storm. Right. So I want to say that they said it was a million people were out of power and they're still out of power. Yeah. And I think they haven't had power for over a week and they're, they're, uh, I guess pr forecasting that they might not have power for a while. Um, a lot of people don't have food. They are um, just in a really bad situation because of this weather. Right. So we wanted to highlight the Horizons Meals on Wheels organization. <laughs> so this organization is helping to provide people in Eastern Iowa with <laughs> nutritious meals. 
It helps them to meet their daily nutritional needs by delivering hot, fresh, and ready to eat meals in addition to frozen meals and breakfast bags. So it is helping people to get um, the food that they need throughout the day. A lot of people are without food. A lot of people are without just like basic needs as far as like power and water and things like that. So we wanted to highlight the Horizons Meals on Wheels service to hopefully kind of amplify what they're doing and just to be able to get some more um, help for the people that are being impacted by this storm. Yeah. So if you guys could take a look at the link in the description down below. Um, donate if you can. If you can't, just learning more about it and also spreading the word about this storm because like we, just like us, not a lot of people know and this mm. storm is not getting a lot of news coverage. So just spreading the word and letting people know what happened in Iowa will help because it will get more eyes on the page and get more people knowing that might want to help. Yeah. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video.